stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. This is more like it. Hurry. We best not keep Chevalier waiting. There's 
space. The... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! How dare you show me such disrespect! You simpleton! You rot-brained cabbage farmer! You simpleton! You rot-brained cabbage farmer! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach him a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are you, mate? Nice now, you bilge rat! Talk before I bash out your brains! We will find them and let them bury what's left of you. Keep an eye out, lads! The pals are still out there somewhere! Thank you. Many thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Thank you. 
I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't we need in this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They shall prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God, no. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shane. The Morgan was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. Ready for battle, man! Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What 
the hell did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You worked for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. We repeat, this is not a What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hire to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shea Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al-Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. 
Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, feel like being sneaky. Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. If you see any tech lying around like that, grab him. There might be a clue as to who did this. Now that you have unlocked Shea Cormac's memories, we stand on the brink of a grand discovery. I know you must have questions about your new assignment, or about me. For now, all I will say is that Shea's story contains the answers. Shea will lead you to a greater understanding. Following the Great Purge of 2000, William Miles became the de facto leader of the Assassins. A cunning and ruthless strategist, he trained several agents who infiltrated Abstergo, including Clay Kazmarek and Lucy Stillman. In late 2012, I captured William Miles in Cairo and delivered him to Warren Vidic in Rome. Miles' son, Desmond, attacked Abstergo, killed Vidic and Master Templar Daniel Cross. He fled to a first civilization temple in New York. On December 21st, Desmond Miles was killed inside the precursor structure. The grieving William Miles went underground and left the Brotherhood in the hands of Gavin Banks. Banks led a small team across the globe, attempting to rebuild assassin cells. We have confirmed sightings in Kyoto, Moscow, and Paris. Miles resurfaced in late 2013, and we have confirmed his involvement in the infiltration of Abstergo Entertainment Montreal by the assassins Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane. Both Miles and Banks remain at large. Agent Acosta has tasked the Akashic satellite Plexus to sweep the planet for traces of assassin activities. We have yet to locate them.
Okay. The numbskull is in another animus session, and I have required caffeine. All is right with the world. Good. This isn't really your kind of mission, is it, boss? Every mission is important in its own way. Still, I bet you'd rather be out with the rest of the team, hunting Sean Hastings or something. Wouldn't you? Hell yeah. I want a front row seat for that show. Any word from Sorkin? He's scheduled to update me in... 43 minutes. Good. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's it like, using an Animus? I went through the Animai training program. It felt like the drills we used to do in the UT Jaeger. You never use a normal Animus like this one? To relive your own genetic history? Only once. Really? Who were you? I was a young man. On the Viking raid on Lindsey Farn. 793 northeastern coast of England. Sorry. History, nerd. So, how was it? It was summer. Good sailing weather. The monastery was a center for religious studies, and we crashed into the city like a tidal wave. And? And? We pillaged and burned. They thought we were demons. The details of the memory were so vivid. I lost myself in the bloodlust. I defeated a Saxon, a great warrior, but did not want to kill him. I invited him to join our clan. Ah, oh, Norse adoption rituals. The chance to sail the world with the Vikings. Yes. A chance to see the world as it really is. What happened then? He wept. Then he cried out that God had abandoned his people and that nothing remained but chaos. I felt such pity for him. I killed him without a second thought. After we're done here, are we gonna have to kill the numbskull? We will see. Nathan Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father, Edward, had been an assassin. That he chose to stay a Templar, rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy.
Hey, boss. Calling from Germany? Yes. I am in Essen, searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. <laughs> From Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh. And it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. it smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles. Adewale. How go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. Who's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did Mackendall's man complete his task before the earthquake hit? I cannot know. Von Gaudier has not been found. He was a strong maroon, one of Mackendall's best students. Such a shame. So we cannot know if he found the site. Indeed. But if there was a temple on the street, I doubt it. Very often make you the wall looks worried though. The Templars broke in during the chaos. They seized the manuscript and precursor box. I can chase on the sea, but lost their trail when they reached New York. We must consider what to do next. I heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you.
You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase. And we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. You can take your time, but not too much. With more work than like this. Reload. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up! Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? know how to handle yourself. Take the high ground, Shay. Dispatching from the air is most effective. Nicely done. I am surprised. Top form, Shay. Huh. Don't Classic even think attack. about it. Hide in it, and surprise your target when he gets close. Top form, Shay. Hmm. You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. I will meet you later, Shay. For dinner, perhaps. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you.
It is time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. nature gives us. Good. Now to use what you have taken from nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts... ...can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them... ...or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Sail as you can! We only have one lead, Shane. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. Sir Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dal Shane. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? To watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? I give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. I do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps record of the pieces of Eden. 
And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you can be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. He said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. Great. A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and the English. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what can you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Aye. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate, the scourge of the West Indies, rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers, and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? Fire! There, Captain! 
An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. Keep it hard and neutral before the crew knows what to do. We're clear, Captain. Time, let's border. Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. The spires are ours. For the more again. The sea between here and Anticosti is... We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realise there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He got as many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. Escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in an earthquake. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Danger's behind us. Fall down and clue up! Anchor away!
What do you be needing today, then? Run bit of business, that. What service can I provide? My thanks for your trust, Captain. So much. My thanks. C'était pour la seule, une question de fierté mal placée. Mais il faut protéger à tout prix les intérêts du roi. Les seuls intérêts que je veux protéger, c'est les miens.
We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Stunsels! Let's catch this squall! Fishermen from Perse. Careful, ship. These waters are full of enemies. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These scalpers must pay. And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, can't cross me. What say you? We sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing. Shame, very things will happen. We've tried! 
should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Those the garlands and roids! Careful! Quite a rough squall, Captain. Can't be far now, Captain. Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Leave! Sorry, don't say! Go on ahead, Shay. We will meet you at the fort. my Marie, such a true and fine honest party. Where did you meet her? I prepared to I slipped into the feast. I would say you slipped into more than Fortune's favor.
I would have done without you, kind sir. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken it. Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks.
down! Catch the wood! Raise those sheets! Let's move! Some shipwrecks cargo here, sir! The poor old man Hello, can thanks! Ride. Get them aloft! Down's on side! Get the maids free! Draw a banker! on cord to make it disappear. J'aimerais bien qu'il se dépêche de valider ma mutation à Saint-Domingue.
Nous sommes loin de toute civilisation, entourés de bêtes sauvages. dans un pub. Vous pouvez servir que de la... Bénéficier du meilleur de la France. Cette vie de pionnier est rude, mais je l'aime. Ahead, 
Dice the rise the tops! Dice on sale! Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington set out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan.
Captain has the wheel. Cormac has the helm. Give me some speed. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington Aye. is running out of his. There she is. He's All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's it's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. Careful. I'll make sure he doesn't. Blockade, Captain! Right, this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Lift Track sail. that package and find Put Washington. Trim the yards off the wind. Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. <laughs> Aye. I think the Royal Navy could turn the tide. Oh, sir. The Navy could attack all of France's colonies. All I'm saying is that lining up like we do to fire muskets will leave us vulnerable. All in, no more of this discipline. I'm trying to stop.
is a damn big dog. Of course, it had to be today. Yeah. What's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where? You. How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. It's in me sights.
I don't know. Security is all the time. The captain brought in more men. What's so special about this party? Who knows? All I can tell is that this is Lawrence Watson. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man.
or something? Keep your eyes open. Enemy can be anywhere. Say, is that blue we tried? Keep your mind on your work, not your stomach. So what you're saying is the government has changed Do you think it could happen here? An earthquake, I mean. It's starting to feel a little crowded around. Perhaps we should move further away. Stella. There's no need to. Lots of interesting people. The British in charge of this area are really mucking it up, aren't they? Corrupt politicians, taxis, weak tea. And what a collection of our schools. So what you're saying is the government has changed time itself? Not really, no. But the calendar starts on the 1st of January. Barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man.
size only for Sally Fairfax. That hussy! What did my husband find out? Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God damn it! I'd better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Try and get past me, I'll spill your beer. Get back here. Alright, where do you think you're going? Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifact? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. A rare day we could sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak. It didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. And that's what he wants you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? 
so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye, I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. Leon. I know, but it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box. We need him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with that Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern? What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese. Be lovely. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. Small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Sir! Fall! Reef in our tops!
Chevalier. What happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. Captain, I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its there operation. Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can this blockade go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Our target's a smart man, but out of his element here. Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked me, I would have known about it. He's back from a long way. Now no chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. Careful, you simpleton. You will destroy the box. It seems you are not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. This is not a game, cabbage farmer. It worked. The way is clear. Now, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is giving away. All hard! It's an ambush! Off where you sit, young man! Smith must not escape! Fire!
I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. Disappoint him, and he's still within reach. Wickedness is this! Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Dice all but made! As much sail as you can! All sails loose! Off the wind. Douse the vision tops. Now we know where he was headed. Barson has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. What you're doing, assassin! Your brotherhood is using you! This will be your end, assassin! You will regret this! Think about what you're doing, assassin! Your brotherhood is using you! This cannot be! No! Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript. And all shall be revealed.
Darkness help! I've got cursor box. Smith. It's dead. Well done, Chen. Where's Chevalier? Returning to Le Garfo. I'll have to celebrate without him, I'm afraid. I don't much feel like celebrating, Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was... Necessary. But... Nothing. Smith was a dangerous man. A Templar. What's worse, he had the precursor box. You should be proud of yourself, Shay. Perhaps. We should head for Albany now. James Wardle, the fellow Lawrence Washington gave the manuscript to, will be there. Sega Watson reported that James Water polluted out many tribes from their ancestral lands. We have proof that he's behind countless massacres. He's one of the most devious and ruthless men in the colonies. He uses the letter of the law to serve his purposes. And when the law does not bend to him, he gets lawmakers to bend it for him. Mark my word, Shay. James Water is a bureaucrat. He doesn't care how his actions affect others. Trip to Hot Mermaids, trip. Loose all a trip. Came riding by, and, and we, we say, say so, and, and we, we know, know so. so. Oh, a poor old man came riding by. Oh, poor old man, says I, old man, your horse will die, and, and we, we say, say so, and, and we know so. And if he dies, we'll tan his eye. Oh, poor old man, and if he don't, I'll ride him again, and we say so, and we know so. And I'll ride him until the Lord knows when. Oh, poor old man. He's dead as a nail in the lamp room door And we say so, and we know so And he won't come worrying us no more Oh, poor old man We'll use the hair of his tail to sew our sails And we say so, and we know so And the iron of his shoes to make deck nails Oh, poor old man Drop him down with the long, long roll And we say so, and we know so For the sharks will have his body And the devil will take his soul Oh, poor old man There's the city of Albany, sir The greatest frontier town of them all
business here. That's none of your concern. With respect, sir, it is. This is more like it.
You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington, but you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape.
Ah, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mean the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster... wardrobe. I can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. Now to wardrobe on the manuscript. You really think we won't catch you? Ah. I've got a clear shot. Now you die. Faster! We will not be losing him.
I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes.
I think I can hit him. Got him inside. Watch him lined up, dog. We told you to stop! Faster! We'll not be losing it! service can I provide? Oh, 
Grumpy to business, that. To the wind. I have the manuscript. Great. Hope is waiting for you in Sleepy Hollow. What's in Sleepy Hollow? Benjamin Franklin. The man Johnson hired to make that strange precursor box work. So what's the plan? He's Hope. First name one of Johnson's men. Give the box of manuscript to Frank. So I'm a messenger then. Aye. Uh, see if this Frank can figure out how this damn box operates. Stay with him. Oh man. As far as we can tell, this man doesn't know about the tempers or the assassin. Oh, a symbol? The yards oh, off the wind. Johnny Parker, come run yeah. and run me over. To the the top. Get the main sails into the wind. I'll That's enough me. for now. He's off the wind. And an outbreak of typhoid is at hand. To treat those afflicted, the following measures are recommended. Induce prominence, opium, use of herbs, rest, and prayer. A selection of coin racing horses is available. Harnesses without tires. 
send it to the finest Arabian and English shop. Jenkins and Sons horses are the best money can buy. The Jacobite Doctor, Archibald Cameron, not here. You there! Stop now! That'll do. And how. Did I ever tell you that I once served with long...
Nein! We have seasoned fetch. It is irks. Direct à l'époque, bien lesté, l'ami. Je vais te soulager de ce fardeau. Hear no more of this disobedient nonsense. They're paying quite well still. My big concern is to find lots of power. We're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? 
The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research anymore. Everyone is having metal confiscated nowadays. Yes. Yes. The army will melt it down and turn it into weapons. War is upon us. So, Master Franklin, what is this? A raiding job. It temporarily throws out. Yes, it is, sir. Good. Put it with the rest. Hold mine. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Let's hurry back to Franklin.
Jay, thank goodness! Uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. The nearest bureau is near Mount Vernon. Hope will be expecting me.